Hello everybody, Sigrev2 back again with another video for you all, and today I have to get some stuff off my chest here. As you can see in the background, we have a Amazon Music listing for a brand new John Lennon compilation called Gimme Some Truth, uh, two CD and a Blu-ray, 80 bucks. Now, you might be looking at that and going, oh, you know, that's pretty interesting. Why are you, why are you getting on camera for the first time in 84 years? And and uh, seeming, you know, being a little bit huffy. Well, I don't understand the point of this box set. It's basically what I'm boiling everything down to. I don't understand what this is trying... Who is this appealing to? Um, with the information that we have currently, there is basically nothing new in this box set. Absolutely nothing new. It's about 36 songs, and most, if not all of them, I'm pretty sure every single one of them has been available for as long as possible. They're, they're, and none of them are retouched in any way, although I assume that the Imagine, the Imagine songs that are on here, um, they're, they're, those are going to be sourced from the most recent re-release. But... Like, like, this isn't going to appeal to anyone long term. Like, like any of the like big fans of the Beatles or John Lennon, like, because we already have this shit. We already have all of the material on here. Like, oh, but it comes with a bumper sticker and it comes with a big book that's got a bunch of pictures of John and Yoko. And it's like, no matter how you package it, I don't. Facilit I don't see how this would appeal to anyone who's been around that has all this shit. Being, being put in a fancy new box isn't going to make it any different. Like You just go on Spotify and all the songs are there in the mixes that they're probably going to be appearing on this compilation. And that's the thing. Like If you're a newcomer, you're not going to drop 80 bucks on this thing. Hell no. I think that there's going to be a scaled back version, but that's still going to be 25 something bucks for two CDs. And for what? For, for, for what? We already have a whole. In terms of compilations, we already have a bunch of different compilations of the sort, like Legacy and Imagine, that compilation, and like all the box sets and special tchotchkes and, and, and novelties. Like, we already have all these compilations. We already have all this stuff. And it's not like you're going to get anything fancy on here. It's not going to be like, oh, well, here's an alternate take of something from Two Virgins. Or like, oh, I, I think like, the rarest thing on here is a live take of Come Together. Ooh. Uh, nothing like a Beatles song being performed by one-fourth of the Beatles. And uh, if, it, if it's coming off like I'm very salty about this, it's because I am. The, the Beatles camp in general has gotten it, this idea that they can charge us exorbitant amounts of money for shit that we already own. Like, it kind of makes sense with the McCartney box sets because they're going in, they're polishing it all up, they're giving us all a bunch of extras and, you know, extra books, DVDs, just like little things here and there, and that's understandable for something like this price, although a lot of them have been getting massively overpriced on aftermarket, but that's beside the point. You see... Even with that, like the latest Flaming Pie reissue, like two hundred and fifty bucks for not for not even the deluxe edition. And the super deluxe edition, five hundred plus dollars for like five big pictures, five art prints, I believe. And I get it, art prints can be expensive, but no, <laughs> it, it, it's not worth that. It's and it's not worth that music. You shouldn't be paying five hundred dollars 
for music in general, unless you're buying like 500 CDs or something. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like there's no price regulation on this shit. And the people who run, you know, the Lennon estate, McCartney, Apple Core, they're they're like, oh, well, the Beatles are the most influential band of all time, so we can just make you pay a hundred plus dollars for for stuff you already have. And, and like, it, it just irritates me when when the, when when corporations and large conglomerates think that we're really that fucking stupid. I'm seeing this, and I'm like, you're not fooling me. We already have a Gimme Some Truth compilation. It was released in 2010. And that was being sold for normal CD prices. And we're in the digital age now, baby. Like, no one gives a fuck about compilations anymore. They can just go on to Spotify, make a playlist of these songs, or find a playlist already made. But we threw in a bumper sticker and some pictures, so it's $80, right? It, it, it just seems so weird to me that we, we we just allow this kind of stuff to happen. That we're like, oh, it has Lennon's name, we'll buy it. Uh, I really hope no one actually spends the 80 plus dollars for this. I know that there are Lennon fans out there and they're, they're probably going to eat this shit up like it's fucking breakfast. But... I don't know. I, I think that there are much better ways to go about doing something like this. This just seems like, like, like someone's grabbing ideas from the past and, and, and expecting them to still work. And it's like, no one's going to fall for this. Of course, I'm wrong. Lord knows how many people bought that, um, bought the Flaming Pie reissue and the the uh, Egypt ex the, what is it the Egypt station super deluxe that comes in a fucking briefcase that comes with a fucking five hundred piece puzzle that's like well it was like a thousand dollars well congratulations you got a five hundred piece puzzle you know I'll see you after kindergarten uh, I'll pick you up like but I don't understand. I keep playing with my hair. I do apologize. I, I couldn't find my normal hat I like to wear when I record. <sighs> it's just disappointing. It's just really disappointing that the, the people are th these people think that we're just so dumb <laughs> that this kind of stuff is necessary. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I know that there's like a, a high res flak edition. Uh, of the material on here, which is why the Blu-ray is included. And if you're all for that, you know, that's fine. But at that point, why don't you just release it as the Blu-ray? That You can charge people 20 bucks for that kind of shit, and th they'll buy it. Hell, I'd probably buy it. But you're not. You're, you're trying to sell me the same shit I have for 80 I keep hammering in that point, and I hope you understand why. I hope you understand why that's the point of contention for me here. Like, if I could just go on, I'm rambling. I'm rambling and I'm going over the same shit in circles over and over again. I do hope that, um, if anything, this will eventually be worth the price. This is me going off an Amazon listing and a single video that was released like an hour before I started recording this. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's not even 100% announced uh, at least in the US I could be wrong <sighs> I, I just want to believe that I'm not being taken advantage of and when I see stuff like this it, it, it's just really disheartening as a CD collector it's like I could just buy anything else like with all the new music that's coming out now I could just go to the sound garden, spend a hundred bucks, and I'd have like a bunch of shit that came out this year I'd never heard before, and it would be fucking amazing, but they're still holding on to this almost what almost fifty years old material now 
which blows my mind. Anyway, uh, I'm done rambling for a minute. Uh, if you're looking forward to this box set, please let me know why in the comments. It, if anything, I would assume it's because of the Blu-ray, and I do... I want to say that there is a Blu-ray only release of this. I do not know for sure. Maybe if I look that up beforehand, I wouldn't be so irritated by it. But I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going by this. This is what's irritating me. So if you're looking forward to getting this, let me know in the comments below. If you think I'm overreacting, I probably am. But if you think I'm overreacting, let me know in the, just. Let, hopefully I'm not alone in being a little bit perturbed by this kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Sigrev2. Uh, I've been rambling for 11 minutes. Um, hope you all have a great day. Uh, John Lennon, give me some truth. Don't be a stranger. Fuck me.